I am Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Today it's going to be Kevin McCarthy. Never thought I'd do a reading on Kevin McCarthy, but that's who it's going to be. And I picked a nice deck for him, too. Okay, so it's going to be Kevin McCarthy, and I picked a really nice deck for him. Um, I was just uh, going through my cards, and I hadn't used these in a while. And I thought, well, I like these cards. I wonder who I could read on with them. And um, did a little meditation, and it was Kevin McCarthy. So this is the new Palladini Tarot. Now, Palladini is an artist who had done uh, the Aquarian Tarot. And uh, which is a more muted, uh, quiet uh, kind of a deck. And then I guess later on, uh, years later, he decided to go ahead and do this new Palladini Tarot. And um, as a matter of fact, he has recently uh, passed away. I mean, within the last few years. And uh, so it's um, maybe it's appropriate. So we're in this age of Aquarius, some would say we're somewhere or, or approaching or entering or coming out of or in the middle of, who knows. But these are beautiful cards. They've got a lot of color in them and they're very descriptive and they're very definite. And they use the um, loose icon iconography of the Rider Waite system. As you know, if you watch my channel, I really love those Rider Waite uh, cards. They're easy to figure out, you know, is the main thing. And uh, there's no surprises. Uh, so for for most of us If you collect cards or if you read tarot or if you'd like to just throw a card down every once in a while get you a set of, uh, of Any uh, version of Rider Waite cards and um, you know, you'll find your way with them. I think but Let's do this. Let's just take a beat And Kevin McCarthy Kevin McCarthy, so he's uh, head of the Senate. He has uh, Mitch McConnell's old job because since the Senate is now the, the Republicans are now in the minority um, uh, Kevin McCarthy is the leader of those of people in the Senate. Oh boy. Let's see Kevin McCarthy What are you doing? I mean you clearly know that um, the information what you're pushing is not the honest to God truth it's just a perversion of the truth. It's some stretch. And uh, why? 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 Why not just go with the truth, Kevin McCarthy? Let's see how this goes. I'm going to put these out for Kevin. I'm going to take six cards. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Now I'll use the rest of these in a minute to finish off this Celtic cross, so I'll need four cards. But right now, we're just going to see what we have to look into the mind of Kevin McCarthy. The signifier for these cards is the Eight of Pentacles, and that's about right. I mean, he's He's trying to hone his craft. He's practicing uh, this position that he has uh, in the Senate. And he may be the leader of the Senate, but he doesn't have it down pat. And uh, so he's really studying, trying to get this right for his party. All right. The challenge to that uh, for Kevin McCarthy is a five of rods. And of course it is. Five of rods, like uh, my, my the fantastic reader that I like to watch, Lena uh, Rodriguez from Tarot Down Under. She's got a little edge to her when she does her reads, and I love that about her. But um, the Five of Rods is uh, what she would say is argy bargy. So conflicts, uh, disillusionment, uh, not being able to figure out uh, who's going to go first and what's going to go where, and and uh, and just and just disarray. So the challenge to him getting things right is all the internal internal turmoil in uh, the Republican Party. And then the base of this reading then is the Two of Rods, and the Two of Rods is planning. It's looking to the future. It's making some actions. It's getting something, uh, looking out to see what you can do, but kind of on a short-term basis. Uh, you know, the, the first of the plans, the beginning of the plans. So the uh, Two of Rods is a pretty good base 
for, for to build on for this situation with Kevin McCarthy. The past of this reading, then, is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is, you know, family, happy family, everything going great. And so in the past, some might say that when Mitch was in charge, he had a tighter grip on the family, was keeping them all in line, perhaps. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. We'll see if my, my thinking changes on that. But the sky for this reading is, ah, oh, ah. Oh. The best they can shoot for is the tower, and the tower is utter downfall, destruction. I have to say, in this deck, the tower isn't quite as destroyed as it is in some other decks. It's on fire, it's cracking, and uh, it, there, you know there's destruction shooting out, and it's lonely, but it hasn't fallen. And in a lot of the other decks, the tower falls. So that's something, I guess. That's something. The tower for the sky. Now, the uh, likely outcome for this first part of this reading, the short-term outcome, is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups, uh, sorry, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is uh, a significant court card. I mean, he's the fellow who's going to fight for the royal uh, uh, honor. He's bringing this cup of compassion, this cup of emotion, uh, um, kind of gingerly holding it between his fingers, you know, like, like here it is, uh, take a sip. Um, but the Knight of Cups is um which is is, is it's a respectful uh, a respectable position for this part to end in to be a knight because that is a fighter and uh, he's trying to hold all these emotions in i can imagine that the republican party well both of them really but is just fraught with a lot of emotion but right now we need to finish off this Celt this celtic cross and see what we can draw for the self the really down to earth the man kevin mccarthy the first card the self of kevin mccarthy is the Ace of Rods. Oh, yeah. He is the Ace of getting some plans going, some motion, some action. He is putting everything. He's As much as I dislike what he stands for, I can see that he's putting everything he's got into this position. He's just, in my opinion, misguided in the direction he's trying to take things. But, yeah, the Ace of Rods, a big action, a big offer of let's get things moving. Yeah, that's Kevin McCarthy. He's in the environment of what? He's in the environment of... Seven of Swords, <laughs> it's betrayal, it's thievery, it's trying to sneak off with some stuff that isn't yours, it's trying to take these justices, these uh, rules, uh, and, and, and hide them, and drag them off, and, uh, and you've just left a couple, a couple of truths uh, standing. My goodness. So that's the environment he's in uh, with this Ace of Rods. In the sky for this reading, for Kevin McCarthy, then, let's take right off the edge here, is the Hangman. So... What is the hangman? The hangman is a stall. It's uh, being forced to stop and look at this whole thing in another way. Um, and I would say that's exactly um, where he is most of the time, it seems like. But then the final outcome for Kevin McCarthy, we'll take it off the other end, is going to be the Ten of Rods, and it's a heavy load to manage. This guy is burdened with all these uh, issues, all these plans, all this movement. He's, he's really burdened with getting this together. He's got it slung over his shoulder, and he's making a valiant uh, effort to push, push, push these plans forward. And uh, you know what? I think that is probably a very good description of Kevin McCarthy right now. Oh yeah, Kevin McCarthy right now, he's got a hard row to hoe. He certainly does. He, um, um, the, the whole thing that stands out for me with, with this for him is that it starts out with a signifier as the Eight of Pentacles. And that's the fellow who's trying to hone his craft, trying to figure out what to do. And uh, he's challenged by, of course, all the argy-bargy, all the struggling, all the strife, all the competition, all the... Um, um, you know, discord in the uh, party right now for those Republicans. And in the sky for that was what else but a tower moment. Yeah, the tower. Uh, it, it ended up uh, for the self of Kevin McCarthy being the ace of rods, really trying to get some plans going, a big offer of pushing this forward. He's uh, in the environment of Seven of Swords, which is just dishonesty, thievery, hiding all those truths, trying to take them off into the bushes. And then um, he, uh, the hopes and the fears for him ended up as being stalled. And then um, the, sky, uh, the final outcome was just continuing to have to carry the heavy burden of all of that mess. Kevin McCarthy. 
but I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot, and my life is great. So come on back tomorrow, and we'll have a blast. We'll go somewhere else, but ciao for now.